first full spring here. Is this is it different? Well, you, I, you weren't here last spring, right? You didn't come. No, nah, yeah, summer. I went here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's very exciting. It's just going out there, competing with the offense, getting reps, trying to get better at our craft every day. It's exciting. How have you gotten better? Uh, just, just really, you know, me being an older guy, um, you know, I, I pretty much know the scheme. Now it's just kind of bring along the uh, the young guys in the room, you know, make sure they up to par, and just really, uh, you know, going over the little things where I can't get it wrong. Notice in the times I've been watching, you've been getting some interceptions. Is that – is that because of your your understanding what's going on? Are these you're seeing things quicker? Is that what it is? You think? Yeah, I just, I just think being you know uh, other guy having college experience, the, the game is much slowed down for me versus a freshman that's just coming into college. Uh, I just think everything's going slow. Just you know me playing with correct technique, eyes, uh, and doing what my coach uh, asked me to do is let me be make big plays. You played both safety and corner last year. Seems like you're concentrating more on corner now. Does, does that help? Do you like playing multiple positions, or would you rather concentrate on one? Uh, to me personally, I think you know playing other positions helped me uh, as a corner because now I get to learn what other guys' assignments is and you know where they're going to be on a certain play. So I think that helped me out as a corner. So I, to me, I, I like playing all position. How's your man coverage? It's it's great. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, that's what you like to do. Yeah, yeah, I love, yeah, I love, man. Lock up on guys. Yeah, yes, sir. Talents and abilities. What do you? What plays in best to play in corner and safety? Or what one of those two do you do best? Uh, I I really think it's they both equal. I think I can do um I can play both jobs well. So I think that that's a um that's a great tool to have in my bag to be versatile as I am. Can you repeat that? What goes into intercepting passes? I mean, it, 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 it strikes me that some people have a, have a knack for it. And it. I don't know if it's natural or they study better or. Uh, so what we told, um, you know, from our coaches is first, you know, get the call, you know, know your call, know what you got on that play, your assignment. Uh, then knowing your, where your alignment at, the formation, your keys, what you're keying on. Then after that, just playing football, making the play. Phil Douglas came here, you know, from the small school, and he's, you know, intercepting everything they throw his way in the NFL now. I mean, it's a, it's a, it, it strikes me that there are some people that can do it and some people that, that can't. Yeah, I, th- I think I was uh, fortunate to be blessed to play a uh, receiver, had some receiving background in high school, so I think that's kind of helped me out. Yeah, learn, learn a few things about what they're trying to do. Right, correct. He mentioned Rasul Douglas. Who do you? Who do you kind of emulate your style after? Uh, I kind of I kind of watch a couple guys in the league because I think if I, you know, try to be like one guy, uh, I can lose. You know, I think for a DB, you have to have a toolbox where you can have multiple techniques because you can ain't play everybody all one way. You know, because we have a level where you know guys are gonna pick up on your technique and find a way to beat it. So I think just having a toolbox and having multiple ways to play uh, your assignment is, is good. Your ideal defensive back for me, yeah, it either have to be Jalen Ramsey or Marcus Lattimore. Okay, why is that? Uh, I just think them guys. I see my, I see myself as the same guy. You know, uh, a ball hawk type of DB, aggressive DB, and uh, yeah, Jareed going out there and competing every down. Every defensive back coach says, "Hey, my guys are going to get beat." Every once in a while, you know, you're gonna lose a battle. Mm-hmm. What do you say to yourself when that happens? Oh, uh, really? Next play, next play mentality. Cause you know, um, I'm not gonna win every rep. I'm not perfect. So just knowing that, uh, if I do lose a rep, you know, find out why I lost that rep and try not to repeat the, uh, repeat the same mistake, and just focus on the next rep. That's all that matter. This defense has had some guys leave that you were counting on at the beginning of the year. How have you recovered and filled in the spots there from some of those guys that have moved on? Uh, it's kind of like treating it like injuries. Like, you know, when the guy leaves, it's the next man up. So I think the young guys uh doing a great job stepping up and they're coming along. So I think that's how you got to treat the next man up. Moving up from the FCS level like you did, uh, did, was there a confidence? Did you have any doubts when you first started? And how long did it take you to get over that? Uh. 
I had doubts coming in when I first came in. It was like, you know, a lot of people were saying it was a big difference between LCS and um, FBS ball. You know, saying the speed way faster. But I think once I started getting into the, you know, the summer workouts and was, once I started getting the fall camp, I started realizing, you know, it's, it's just the same. It's just, you know, it's more elite athletes at this level. So I, I kind of adjusted uh, quickly. You know, some guys you talk to that, that start out at FCS have the uh, uh, attitude that, you know, I shouldn't be here. I should be a power five D1 guy. Right. Did you take that attitude when you, you got there and say, hey, I'm better than where I'm at? Uh, some work. I knew uh, coming out of high school, you know, I was I didn't fit the eye test to you know go FBS. So it was kind of like a, a a chip on my shoulder to prove everybody wrong that I could play with the best and elite players of college. So that's all I wanted to do was just prove I could play with the best. You say fit the eye test. You mean you were overlooked? You think a little bit? Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, I wasn't. You know, the the dream athlete everybody wanted. I wasn't six two two ten. I was no. I was coming out of high school. I was five ten one fifty. Yeah. So ballers are ballers, right? right. Correct. Yeah, is that how you kind of approached it? Yeah, I, that, I had, you know, multiple uh, trainers and just mentors just telling me, like, you know, wherever you at, no matter where, the scouts are going to find you if you play football. Have a chip on your shoulder a little bit? Yeah, mo most definitely. You know, I, I think I've been having a chip on my shoulder all life, all my life. So that's just how I approach the game. Did you talk to Marquise Floyd about the same type of move? Because mm -hmm. obviously he's doing it now. Yeah, yeah, uh, me and him have uh, fight, uh, quite a few talks, you know, because he was in the same position I was a year ago. So I, I kind of try to bring him in, ease him into the process, and, and tell him, like, it's going to slow down. You know, uh, once you get to learn the scheme, everything is going to start working out for you. And Charles, along those lines, him playing safety first, and yeah, he knows cornerback, obviously, mm -hmm. and your experience doing both. Do you think that's good for him, just to learn things and slow down? And if he wants to move forward, he can, but... He gets to learn a lot playing safety first. Yeah, I think I think just knowing both positions is is helpful to the uh, defensive unit at, like overall. Just knowing uh, both positions, because like I said, just knowing your um, your teammate assignment, what he got on a certain play, kind of helps you out. And then speaking of six two two ten, I guess it's not quite that big, but Andrew has some physical gifts, and I mean, maybe he does have side test. Um, you know more than he does, obviously, but he does have some some of the tools that you're talking mm -hmm. about. What can you give a guy like that so it's not too much, but it's also enough that that can help out some of his size playing because he has Andrew. Oh, uh, just you know, Andrew just being a young guy like he is, just being a freshman, it's just really me uh, trying to teach him the the little things. Cause you know, uh, as a freshman, as a young guy, cause I've been there before, you kind of over uh, overlook the the little things. And you're just trying to make plays, so I kind of you know teach him. To, uh, you know, we got to work the little things every day. What you do well? Who, Andrew? I think he do everything well. Which is harder, man coverage or, or zone coverage? Because I know in zone, you got to be in an area where in man, you, you got to be an athlete. Uh, what's, to, what's harder? To me personally, uh, I would say I prefer man over zone. Just because, you know, man, you have, you know, one assignment and that's who you got. Zone, uh, you have to, you know, read. It, it all depends on formation. Um, who you can, so I think I prefer man over zone, but I think I pre I play both well. So part of that toolbox, right? Having all yeah, those just having the toolbox. Gotcha. Talked about a couple other defensive backs there. What, what about the other young corners, the two freshmen, and they're just getting here, Mumu and and some of those guys? What do you see out of them? Yeah, hey, I think they uh they they're gonna be some ball players. I think uh they they adjust into the scheme well. You know everything. You know they're freshmen. They supposed to still be in high school right now. So I think everything is just going fast for them, but it's starting to slow down day by day. And I, you can see the improvement. They're getting better each and every day. We asked Zach this. When did it hit happen for you? When did the light kind of turn on and you're like, yeah, I can I can handle this? At the – Here. Here? Yeah, here, yeah. Uh, just really, you know, when I started playing in the game, just getting the game rust. I think that's the – that's the best preparation for you is game rust. Once you start getting game rust, you start, you know, getting in the groove of it. That's when it hit me. Remember, I think it was, was it the TCU game? Mm -hmm. Was that when you got your first pick? TCU. Is that kind of when it really started yeah, to come yeah, together? Yeah, just going out there and making a few plays and just realizing, like, yeah, I can actually play at this level. That's when it hit me. How many family people did you have in the stands that day? Because, I mean, you grew up, what, 30 minutes yeah, from there 30 or minutes. probably? 
Yeah, I, I probably had over probably 10 to 15 people there. Yeah, I had uh, former coaches and then, of course, my family. So it was all very exciting because my family haven't seen me play in person since then, since high school. So it probably been like three, three to four years since he seen me play in person. So they was very excited. Keep moving east. You start in Midwest and you keep moving east to play your career, huh? Yes, sir. I guess next is the Jets or something, the Giants, <laughs> yeah. right? Hopefully, wherever. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. Thank you.